The great things about stories is they live a long time. You remember them because you remember the emotional reaction of telling them and living them. And they're great business tools. They're great for your career. So one story that lived for a long time that I paid forward many, many times, I did was a young man when I was running Columbia Pictures. I was convulsed. I must have been 27 or 28 years old. I was convulsed. Every day at the end of the day it was a madhouse. All the problems that stayed in my office and all the things I had to do, I was just lamenting. And one day I was having dinner with Jack Warner, who was the founder of Warner Brothers. And there were these old-time stars in there. I, I thought the fraud police was going to come and arrest me. It was Cary Grant, and it was Jimmy Stewart, and it was Fred Astaire. And I thought all of a sudden someone was going to lift me out of the room. What are you doing here? And I was just kind of like so worn out from the day. And everybody left, and Jack Warner said to me, what's wrong, kiddo? I was kiddo then. I said, well, I'm just so worn out. You know, all these problems at the end of the day, they just seem to consume me. I go home with them. He said, you see, you don't understand something. When you have any of these jobs, any job you're in, you're just renting. You're just renting the office. You're doing that. And when everybody comes to that office, they're going to come with a problem. Everyone. You're going to think of yourself as a zookeeper. And your job is when they come with a problem, they got a monkey. That's the problem. Now, they're not going to show it to you right away. They'll hide it. They'll wait till the very end before they bring that monkey or that problem out. And they're going to try to leave it with you. If they leave that problem with you, at the end of the day, you're going to have monkey business all over your office and monkey dump all over your office. So your job is to be very diligent and watch for that monkey. They'll bring it out, and then what you have to do is you have to take that monkey by the hand and the other person by the hand and walk them to the door and out and say, bring that monkey back when it's trained. Don't come back without a train. That way, they take the problem, they have to find the solution, and you're guide and counselor. You're not the zookeeper for their monkey or their problem. And that stood me in great stead. It changed my life because it reali I realized that my role wasn't to solve all the problems, was to help them solve all the problems, to be instructive and helpful and supportive, but not be the data dump for them. So a number of years later, when the friend of mine got the job of running a big studio in, in California, and he was lamenting to me, what did I do? I told him the story. I said, you're a zookeeper. Make sure you only allow trained monkeys in the office with their monkey keeper. And then a year or two later, somebody starts telling me the story they heard from him. That's what stories do. They move through the ether because they work. They really tell, instruct, inform, and metabolize their audiences into action. So stories have that unique power. You may not remember when the story was told to you, but you remember the story because you remember your emotional reaction to it. You laugh, you smile, you then own it, and you tell it forward as yours. That's the power of a story.